beginning of the slab consists of measuring a certain amount of copper amine, creating a stock solution with copper amine, water, and ammonia, and creating dilution. First, use a balanced weighing paper and washcloth to initially weigh 0.125 grams of copper amine. Once measured, add it to 25 milliliter flask, dissolve it in water, and under the fume hood, add ammonia until the solution is dark blue. Next, add more water until the meniscus rests on the line of the flask. Place the top on the flask and mix the solution. Pour into a clean beaker. This is the stock solution. From the so stock solution, you will make dilution of one. Once you've made your stock solution, use the pipette to measure a small amount of the solution and add it to the volumetric flask. This amount will be your initial volume. Then use the pipette once again to add water to the flask until the bottom of the meniscus rests on the line. If you pass the line, then you must discard of the solution and make another dilution. Since you repeat this procedure for each dilution, the final volume will always be 25 milliliters. Next, put the top on the flask and mix the solution with the water. Pour this dilution into a clean beaker. You will repeat this procedure for each dilution. One of the solutions has now hardened, so place the remaining to your beaker until it is clear. For each of your dilutions, you will use the given equation to find the unknown concentration, which in this case is molarity or M2. Once you have made all of your dilutions, you will use the pipette to transfer an amount of each solution into a separate cubic. When using a spectrophotometer, you must first zero the blank, in this case distilled water. You will clean two sides of the cuvette and place the two clean sides in the spectrophotometer on the side where the light shines through. Next, press zero on the computer. This step is necessary because it negates the water in each dilution, thereby allowing for an accurate reading of absorbent. When initially measuring absorbent, count across all wavelengths to get the precise wavelength that needs to be used, as well as noting the lambda max that keeps up the wavelength of absorbent. Lambda max is desirable, but it doesn't account for the area of the dilution, so you must use 520 nanometers for the wavelength. Each absorption in your slab notebook. If you forget, the computer automatically corrects it. Do you remember how to measure energies in your slab notebook? It reveals the linear relationship between absorption and concentration. Therefore, if you don't zero the machine to blank in the beginning, the absorption values will be incorrect because the water is not negated in the dilution, and once you graph, the linear re relationship will not be reflected.